Alright guys, I'm back with Minecraft. I'm feeling a lot better about playing Minecraft now since I decided to do a um more of a tour of my world and do a little bit of stuff instead of a full world let's play. But you would know if you watched my important update video. See a lot has changed. First of all, I'm just going to give you a little walk through here. This I don't know if I had made that road in last last video, probably not. I have a road to the slime farm out to my spawn point, the melon farm, I built a portal in here, and look at that, it's my house, and perhaps the most important thing, oh god, perhaps the most important thing, is that I updated to 1.9 pre-release 5 and I am now playing on normal mode. I kind of relax the normal mode for occasionally just because I, you know, I'm building things but usually I'm playing on normal mode. So I built this nice big house, good storage area, got, remember what I said about wanting a stack of ore blocks? I got a stack of iron blocks. <laughs> um, I need to go diamond mining. I actually need to make a diamond mine. I'm going to be able to record that because most people don't know how to make a good mine. So, yeah. My texture pack actually has been updated. So there's no problem there. I've got, you know, kind of a kitchen area here with the food and uh, stuff like that, infinite water source. I've got the other stuff area. I got a whole lot of wood and a bunch of sand. Because I was going to need more wood and sand for this house. It's a furnace smelting room. I don't know if I have anything in here. Guess not. And then there's my bedroom over here, lit up by a jack-o'-lantern under here. I've been farming the melons and, uh, <clears throat> sorry, pumpkins like a maniac, so I've got, like, tons and tons of pumpkins, which I'm happy about. So, because it's pre-release 5, there are potions and enchantments, so I have this little room back here I built that I really like the ambiance of. These are the, um, what's they're called? Nether brick. From the nether. I found a blaze spawner. Got a whole bunch of blaze rods and potion ingredients here. Got my brewing stand. Have a bunch of different potions. Or, I basically there's just speed and some health that I've made. Some strength and some awkward potions. And I have my enchanting room. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to enchant these three tools with like I want a level 5 enchantment or something because I have level 28 right now for my zombie spawner so I'm gonna get like level 5 or something right unbreaking one that's okay it's not not that good though I'm loving this enchantment thing though. I have been working on. Oh, I'm breaking two. I've been working on making a mob spawner. I'm gonna do 10 on the sword just because I like it. Ooh, nice. So I've been working on a like a mob system where I can spawn creepers and endermen and everything. You know, and kill them for XP, but mostly what I've used to get XP is I have a zombie spawner that I found and a spider spawner that I found and a cave spider spawner that I found and I've turned them all into um, into XP farms which is great but I need to work on them. What I really want to find is a skeleton spawner because the zombie spawner is really easy to 
make so you can hit it with like a piece of steak or something and it'll drop XP and everything but it drops rotten flesh and who wants rotten flesh? I don't. So I want to make something where I can get you know bones and arrows and XP from them. So I'm just going to show you that. I haven't done much of the slime farm. Um, this I'm going to remove it, or I'm not going to remove it. Whoa, there's actually somebody in there. Never happens. This is um, there's a better angle to view it. It's I built a mob trap because basically. This was this big hollow opening in this mountain, and I found it and I was like, whoa, that's cool, and so I built a mob trap in here, and it hasn't really been working the way I want it to. Like, I occasionally get a mob in it, but it's not very good. Basically, the way it works, they can fall down if I want them to, and I can push their stuff back to me, but... I was walking around and I found, heard some zombies and I ended up finding this thing, which is the same thing again, but it's, it's smaller for one thing, and it's, you know, another one over here, and then I go over here, I just kind of went straight this way, I, I forget why, um, but then I found this cave, which has my zombie spawner in it. And that was what I was killing. I was getting XP from in my important update video. So basically the way it works is they spawn there and they fall into the water currents here, which take them to this mob elevator, which brings them up like... Oh, might be able to see them. It brings them up like... I think it's like 25 blocks up or something. Um, just take some whoop up there. And then they get moved over so that they're more than 8 blocks away from the spawner. But I am not more than 16 blocks away from the spawner. Or 15 blocks away. And so they're up there, they get moved over. Then they drop 23 blocks here. It's either 23 or 22. I don't really remember. They drop down here, and then it's a two-hit kill with my piece of steak. So, that's my zombie XP farm, and that's the most polished. And I can't remember if I actually explored this area. I didn't explore that area. Um, I don't really want to get sidetracked to a cave explorer, but there's something. I know how to get there. Oh, I'll be over here then. No? Okay, whatever. I'll show you when, uh, when I get out of here. Because I know how to get it. Oh yeah, I have a diamond pick here that I've enchanted. Scott. Fortune 1 and Efficiency 2, so it, it chops things really quickly. It's it's kind of amazing, but... Yeah. So... Well, I'll go hit some of these dudes. They're asking for them, but being so noisy. I can just hit him with my stake there. <clears throat> I believe I can upload longer videos to YouTube now, so I'm going to do that. I, I can have a video that's actually a good length for a, like a a good length LP or something. <laughs>